Ooh. And hey, <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Dotodoy here, back with another video for Dragon Ball Fighters. This time, though, we are finally making good on that discussion video for Roshi. I uh, promise. Of course, we are also playing live. I'm playing a team of Roshi, Krillin, and Yamcha. And joining us, we have Lotus. How's it going, Lotus? Yeah, what's good, everybody? Uh, you might have noticed uh, as as you look at the teams <laughs> that I am not playing Roshi, but I did decide to play Videl as the kind of, like, even the playing field a little bit and play a character that's just not my main team and me beating up, you know, uh, and maybe not that well developed yet Master Roshi on Dado's side, because I ain't mm. I ain't really feeling the character that much myself, but we're going to get into it, I guess. <laughs> that is actually the reason I, w I really wanted to do this video, because um, if you don't follow both of our channels, Lotus, uh, we both do a lot of fighters content, I'm sure you're aware of that, but... Uh, we both try to do a lot of DLC videos just because, you know, we really like the game and want to stay up to date. And it's just a lot of fun always checking out the new character, even if you don't um, really like it. And I believe for you, you don't even like Roshi as a character that much, right? Uh, I do not. I've never really been a fan of him, like, in the actual Dragon Ball series. Uh, it, it just, you know, to me, Roshi's just not very cool. I don't find him very funny. A lot of people disagree with that, and you're, you're free to teach their own, but I just... I just, just never been a Roshi fan. Didn't want him in the game. Didn't think he'd be very popular. Didn't think he'd be very, be very fun and very cool. And I, I pretty much still hold that opinion. I think he's a well-made character. I think he's really unique. And I think they did some cool things with him in this game. You know, with the moves that they gave him. But it's just not a character for me, bro. It, it was never going to be. I tried. It just, I couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. And there, that's another aspect is like, Roshi is a very tough character in the game. Um, so that was that was like the main topic I, I wanted to discuss is like Do you think this is something like did it did the experiment pay off? Like I guess you said Roshi is an interesting character, but yeah for me It was like he's, the muscle memory was ridiculous. Yeah, He's pretty unique and I want to go on record I've been saying it pretty much since he came out and I've seen like a lot of the other you know players and streamers agree with me on the sentiment Although strangely enough, I've had a decent amount of YouTube comments disagree with this idea, but I think Roche is now easily the most technical and difficult character in the game. I mean, you th I would agree. You, you think not having a super dash is a big deal than it is, but honestly, once I started playing the character, it was an even bigger deal than I originally expected it to be. Um, once I finally started trying to play him, and then like his whoops, his combo, um, like his combo routes are actually pretty challenging like it, it takes more execution than most characters i've played and uh i've played some weird ones you guys know if you watch my channel i've been playing a lot of hit lately and he's a little bit unconventional but roshi surpasses him in, un in uncon unconventionality <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> but quite a bit you know? <laughs> the character is definitely a lot harder to play than anyone else that i've personally tried to learn yeah i actually i'm glad you brought that up because I, I asked numerous times while uh during the full week of just roshi teams i said uh does anybody think like is it just me or is this the hardest character in the game yeah um and people were like nah I, surprisingly he's pretty easy so i'm actually really happy to hear that because i was very afraid like roshi would fail just off like he, he's too hard to get into but i think uh like I think everybody's been into it so far, at least from an idea. And I'd be open to seeing more non-Super Dash characters. I don't know how they would do it with other characters, because to be honest, I'm fully convinced like this was a really hard undertaking for them. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe <laughs> like, it. Like well. I fully believe that somebody pitched the idea in their room, they really liked it and went with it, and then they like were like, "Oh my god, this is gonna take us eight well, years." When the idea, whoa, Ooh. wait, does that move have like invincibility on it? Can we talk? Are we ready to move on and talk about Roshi in particular? I, mean, I had a couple other things I was going to say, but I I had never uh, seen anyone use that move as a reversal before. I didn't know it had that <laughs> that property. So the reason I opted to go for that EX move as a reversal, is, and nobody talks about this for some, I'm sure a lot of people do, but it's frame one and it beats low. It crushes low. I didn't know that. I haven't it's seen so anyone. Cheap, it's that. so cheap. It's so good. It is uh, ridiculous. So I kind of I kind of use it like a reversal, even though it can get stuffed. It's just, man, is that move good? Um, so what were the last few things you want to talk about before we get into like Roshi just as a character? Uh, I, when they first um, you know, revealed that he wasn't gonna have a super dash, I was like, okay, what kind of broken tools are they gonna give this character to make him playable? Because not having super dash is like, last time they gave a character, uh, the inability <gasps> nice. or you know, the, the last time they restricted a character from access to a system mechanic was the bell and. Not having Reflect is the biggest reason why I felt like this character is one of the weakest, if not the weakest, in the game for a long time. So I was like, is, is Roshi going to be able to cut it without a Super Dash? I don't know. But surprisingly, um, he does seem to do pretty well, and a lot of people are enjoying him, which I'm, I'm glad to see, because even though I didn't want the character, he's easily been one of the most requested 
um, and most anticipated yeah, cool. for some reason. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to see yeah, a lot of he people was, He's always him. been up there. Yeah, but I'm, I'm surprised. Whatever, whatever I see, fair I'm surprised as many people are able to enjoy him because I really felt like he was inaccessible as a character because he just seemed so hard to get. Oh my goodness, he just seemed so hard to get into because he was <sighs> so technical. But if people are having fun, then power to him. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually psyched that people actually do like him because I was that again. That was the big worry, but. I guess now we can just move on to Roshi as a character, starting with that frame one, just beating low, and you get combos off of that. That, oh, that to me was crazy punish. about a frame one. And, and uh, there goes the muscle memory where you want to just see the dash, the Roshi. <laughs> yeah, that was the muscle memory. You're supposed to just click heavy after yeah, that and uh, get the combo that, that way. But took some getting used to. Like I didn't plan for very long, but in, in the short while I did, I was like, yeah, this just remembering to hit heavy instead of following it up with R2 was was a challenge for me at first. It, yeah, it's it's rough. And then the best level two in the game. Go ahead and mention that as it happens. But there's a lot to like about Roshi, including um, Thundershock Surprise, I think, is another move that everybody unanimously agrees is yeah, pretty crazy. Yeah, just being able to... It's an, an unblockable move that, quite honestly, is way better than I would have expected it to be. And something I've seen a fair amount of people just, like, actually trying to reinstate the idea of a snap meta with Roshi and then just snapping somebody out and then hitting with Thundershot Surprise on the way in, which is getting more miles out of it than you would expect. Hold it, you got these? Ooh, you got these? I see I do, I, I see I do. I've been practicing. Saucing on him, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, speaking of snap. So, whoa, well, speaking of snapped. <laughs> Roshi's actually got a couple of snap things about him, if you ask me. That B assist is... Just insanely good. <laughs> yeah. Like to me, it is easily I'm not one of the best stuff. assists in the game. So good, in fact, that speaking of snap metas and and, and snapping a character in or out, uh, have you seen the new tech that's been going around? Thanks to you know Goichi and Aliyun, where there are actual like snap setups again with Roshi B assist and multiple different characters. I have seen that. I've I've been trying to pay close attention to that. I might not know as much about it as I want to, but. Yeah, I have seen that people are starting to reinstate uh, the snap meta, which is funny to me because I saw a lot of people. <laughs> I saw a lot of people that were like, "I want snap back," and then they saw that and they were like, "I don't like this." And I was like, "Well, what were you asking well, for?" Well, <laughs> I think it's pretty reasonable because it's nowhere near as strong. Or hmm, how do I explain? See, the thing about the snap before in the game is that it's something you could just loop over and over again, but you pretty much can't do that because like you just you have to be in the corner with some characters like Bart, Bart let's say Bart for example right which is another character who which is one of the main characters who would make use of that he has to be in the corner it's very specific and you can only do it once because mm -hmm. you need the assist so you're not you can't you can't just do it over and over again and then if they block you know the actual mix-up then it's like okay well <laughs> here we go again. yeah I know I, I agree I just saw people that were specifically asking for old snap mm -hmm. and then saw that and were like oh I don't want that used against me I was like bro that's less truth be told <laughs> that's I'm one of the people who misses old snap i'm not gonna lie but uh i'm not gonna play roshi in order to do it <gasps> nice 2h yeah uh roshi b assist even outside of just that application of it it's just really good it kind of feels like so it's it's bardock b with armor like people memed about yeah. bardock but it's like it's literally bardock with armor it feels like um, a mix between Bardock and Android 17. Like, it's just, oh, wow. Like, when it catches you specifically and stops you so that you can get hit and then combo, it's like, bro, you it's, did not need it, to do it, all it's that. Kinda, it's kind of ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't be surprised because, he, like I said, he's got some other strong tools, it seems like, and he's really hard. But I wouldn't be surprised if the assist alone makes it that so a lot of people want to play him because, like, it's, it's really good. And especially if you're somebody who wants that, you know, that option to snap somebody and mix him up off that. I mean, he's seemingly the way to go about doing... Oh, what am I doing? Seemingly the way to go about oh, doing I'll take that. that. Um, yeah, I just... <laughs> I accidentally jumped back instead of blocking. <laughs> uh, yeah, that stuff seems, like, really good. I am I am worried about Roshi's... Because uh, we just have to go back to the Super Dash. I'm worried about Roshi's ability to be played in high-level play purely because... Um, a lot of people don't talk about this aspect of fighters, but scrambles are a huge aspect of the game, even at that level. And super dashing is my go-to move in a scramble situation. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's either gonna be yeah, a I'm not saying you can't scramble. I'm not saying you can't scramble with Roshi. Well, I, but I think not being able to have that homing dash is like ugh. that is important. But I think something's even more important that a lot of the casual audience may not understand or know. Um, but and I don't even know if you knew this yet or not. But Roshi can't super jump float. Like he. And, yeah, I, I was aware. Yeah, of that. floating is super important in this game at high level, and he just he, he can't do it. So it's another reason that like why I could see a lot of people even more so than not being able to super dash because like people could get over that. Like it, it would take a lot of practice, but 
it's it's super jump float is like one of the most important movement options in this game and not having access to that at a high level is like a big detriment to a lot of people's play like i know uh as soon as super new found out he was like never mind i'm not playing this character <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah it's just it's it's a lot to expect I just, I just, yeah, I'm worried about how much Roshi we're going to see, but I think he'll be, you brought up Videl as a good point. I don't think, like, even now Videl, I think, is so sick now. Like, the combos are much better, the routes are much more interesting. Yeah, she's but pretty even sick, still, but I think she still kind of sucks. We're going. <laughs> yeah, even, yeah, I was going to say, even still, people are like, bro, I can't reflect. <laughs> yeah, no, like, that's, like, that's uh, me right now. I was like, I want to play the character. I think she's really fun. I think she's got some really sick-ass combos now, but not having reflect, I'm like, bro, I'm too big of a scrub to sit here and block all day long. This ain't gonna work. Ooh. And... Hey, <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, there's just so many moments where you... I, I don't know how this turned into a Videl's reflecting, but... I, I think the main difference between something like Roshi that removes a system mechanic but tries to make up for it in some way is Videl just gets a dodge and nothing else after it to replace that reflect. And so the dodge is there's situations so bad like because like you it's, you can't it's really so cancel bad. out of it and you you don't get to act out of it very quickly and like using it repeatedly to dodge like multi hitting things is it's it's just not good man like they it's an interesting and unique mechanic it, it was a cool idea I think it flopped. And they're so scared of making it actually useful because they don't want to make it overpowered or something like that. I don't know, man. I don't. They they slightly yeah. buffed it in this patch, and it's still bad. <laughs> like specifically, something that always comes to mind. It actually happened very recently, but a Videl dodged my Yamcha's Wolf Fang fist, and then I just ex came back around, and they couldn't react in time to not get hit by it. <laughs> I just came back around, just hit him with the old ex, and they were just like, "Well, that sucked." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas at least Roshi has way more thought put into his. Like, everything still work. You could still work. Like, I guess that's uh, evident by the fact people don't mind it too much. But yeah, you can still play Roshi like a fighter's character. It's just a little less. It just flows yeah, a, little just a little less like the rest of the cast. It just betrays your muscle memory a little bit. Oh my god, I didn't block that. I'm just gonna switch out, try to oh, maintain like, that blue. I, I, I almost forgot about it, but I also want to talk about his. Uh, I mean, I don't know what you want to call it. Raw we'll tag? just say reversal. Well, his raw tag is something interesting. Oh, as well. okay. But no, nah, the uh, yeah. What is the core circle back heavy? That that move is uh, that move is something. <laughs> like it's <laughs> oh, you're just the DP. <laughs> yeah, like it, bro. Have you tried safe jumping that move? Cause it's it feels damn near impossible. I know. I remember Apology Man was talking about it in the showcase about how it's really hard, but like I have never once successfully safe jump that move it's like you, you, you kind of have to like bait it out and try to punish it that way because like <laughs> everything about that move is ridiculous yeah. i don't know why they gave that to him um i use it a lot like i spam it oh <laughs> it yeah so I, good I, rightfully the, so. Oh, the the one downside is that it does um you can if you're low health it becomes less of a good option because you can just die but it's still like it's still ridiculous i would I would easily recommend that move. Just like, yeah, spam that move if you play Roshi. Yes, easily. There's no real reason not to. And if, <laughs> I've also gotten caught slipping by it a couple times because I think the move is over and then there's one more hit and then I get hit and I'm like, oh, damn. Mm -hmm. It's tough. It does have like weird. I think that. I actually do think that's a genuine point to bring up because. That happens to a lot of people. It's like, are you going to punch again? And then they let you get away with it or they get hit again. And it's like, damn, it's hard to it's hard to keep track of. Yeah. But I'm glad you mentioned it. The raw tag is the next thing I want to talk about. Because, like I said, a lot of thought put into this replacement as opposed to Videl. Because um, you get specific different combos with this. From what I've seen, you can do... Um, yeah. And, well, like, another thing I, I forgot, speaking of like his raw tag and the super dash, like the, the beam has an actual like hitbox on it. Like You can get hit by the beam from his raw tag and super dash. It's like really weird. I've had that happen to me multiple times. Yeah, it's... Again, it's just like they put a lot of thought into it. I'm glad because I, it's just not Videl's dodge. It's like it actually has benefit to it. It's not the same, but it's not a worse option. Like... I could easily see if there were more characters in the game, like, there would be players that like, oh, I only play characters with that kind of tag, because I like those combos, or I like the the fact that it has a hitbox behind it. Also, Roshi's dead. It's alright, my Videl <laughs> hasn't been doing much this set. I, I'm, I'm glad if I took down a character. I don't think Videl's taking a character this whole set. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, but yeah, he, that he, stuff he was... Uh, seems so. I have put more thought and effort into him. Um, and, and make him more unique Cause, and it, i feel like they've been doing that with a lot of the dlc since season two like oh no 
<laughs> they've they've made the characters a lot more unique and actually feeling different, or actually feel different from the rest of the cast. Because like Gogeta and Broly don't feel like most characters, and um, Videl and Jiren are unique in their own rights, for better or worse. And Roshi is like the most yeah. unique character of them all now. UI Goku is uh, too much. UI Goku was overloaded. <laughs> UI Goku was so a bit I think over, in his own way, he kind of feels opinion, uh, different. You know what it is, what it is? UI Goku feels different in the fact that he's so fighters, it actually kind of hurts. Man, he, he, he's, he's um, fighters and then some. My man got a couple options that nobody else has, and he's just like, oh, what do I do about this? <laughs> yeah, I would say I, that's, a, that's a good point. I've, I've really liked that they've been trying to branch out more, because DBS Broly was great. Um, Gogeta was really interesting, and not too good until recently, I think. I think he's acceptable now. I wouldn't be upset if they never yeah, I touched think he's him again. Much better as a character now. Um, I I hope people are happy with these buffs because he got some really good stuff that he desperately needed. I know a lot of I know a really big thing for a lot of people was like his um his poor frame data, and fortunately they made his like his uh his buttons a little bit better on block so that he actually has some safe buttons he can stagger with. So I know that was a big thing for a lot it, of people. It feels if even even not as a Gogeta player, it just feels better. It just feels way better playing that character. Oh my God! Ooh, I thought okay. something. Wait a minute. Okay. We out here? I kind of froze up. It was just like, that should happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, Gogeta feels way better. DBS Broly was unique. UI Goku felt unique in the fact that the, he was just so cheap, so I'll give it up for that. Kefla was a bit disappointing, just in she was kind of standard, but even she is pretty fun. She had that yeah, dash. I've seen a lot of people say uh, they think Kefla's pretty boring. I still think the character's really cool, and I like watching her. I don't play her as much as I'm sure people have noticed, despite how excited I was, but that's really just because I just it's like Android 18 more. But yeah, I. Yeah, her and her I, and, uh, to me she's a she's not boring. She's a little bare bone. She's like a a more interesting TN because TN is kind of TN is the driest character in this game. Even though I'm a huge fan of TN, he is very dry. For me, it's got to be Jiren because everything he does like just looks so whack no matter what. But I I, I feel you on the TN <laughs> thing. I've been saying in my videos that I think the main reason TN wasn't that. played is because he's so dry because. He was never really bad. I, I think he was okay before. He's a lot better now. But um, I think the biggest reason why he didn't see a lot of plays is because a lot of people just think he's really boring. I would agree. I actually made a joke on Twitter recently that I think Tien is a character doomed to be buffed forever. <laughs> That's because nobody will play him yeah, because he's him. just a little bit on the bland side. I know what the kill stage uh, so is everybody like under for these buffs, but I don't know if they're going to... Oh, what a hold. I joked it, though. I'm just super dash. Don't do this. <laughs> no, I was not prepared for a dry I rush. I go for auto combo because I, I was like, if I if I go for the mix, he's gonna guard cancel. So I'm just gonna dragon rush here and hope he doesn't match. <laughs> yeah, it, I definitely was smart because I don't think we dragon rush very very much. So that's it. I was mentally, I wasn't even on the level expecting dragon rush. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other closing points I want to bring up. Oh yeah, I hope they keep moving in that new direction because Roshi was. Seven steps beyond unique. He, he is yeah, crazy yeah, for unique. Sure. Like, there's no other character like him. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is sick that they listen to people. Because again, I've seen him since the beginning of the channel. All the community polls, he's been up there. So, once again, at the end of Roshi Week, I hope that if you were hoping for this character, you enjoyed him. I I wasn't too excited for him, but even I ended up enjoying him a lot. I put a lot of time in the lab with this character. Hardest DLC week for sure. But once again, thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. I hope you enjoy this bi-monthly Dragon Ball Fighters podcast. Uh, where we also get our ass beat in the background. But if you did, definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Make sure to like button and subscribe and check out some of the other videos that should be on your screen. And also make sure to check out Lotus's channel, which will be linked down below. As always, I have been Doya, and I will see you in the next video.